and we do have to recognise uh, the unique circumstances that requires flexibility uh, and effectively tailor-made solutions for Northern Ireland. So look, I don't think we can solve all of those things today, and we're not going to try. We're not going to try today. Uh, but I think, uh, but I think, I, I think it's important that the Irish government... I wouldn't government put it past us. <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it past us. I think you're quoted as saying it's not beyond the wit of man. I must confess that I, I, I wasn't uh, aware of uh, the, the proposal from Simon for, uh, for such a long uh, transitional period. But I, I think I understand the, the sentiment behind it, which is that... Everybody wants to have the maximum possible reassurance. I think it's possible to do that within a much shorter time scale. And what we would like to do is get on as fast as possible, therefore, with the, uh, the meat of the negotiations, get the real conversation going about how this is going uh, to work, really start digging in uh, to the detail about the border issues, uh, the customs union, all those issues which are bound up together and it's really full part of stage two of the negotiation. So now's the time uh, to make haste on that front and uh, perhaps we won't need uh, to wait quite so long.